Wow, we're just getting started. And Cutler actually had a good forward pass. This could be the beginning of a new season. Or not. <laughs> Look at that guy go. Okay, the Bears scored. Wow. We're starting the season. The Bears scored on their first drive. I hope that's a good Man, Fry the Chef, we're making pulled pork. No, it's okay. It'll be low calorie. Honest to goodness. See, news? See? Yeah. Trimmed off a lot of the fat using this brand new Prodex boning knife. God, is it sharp. And uh, we're just going to brown around the edges. Once it's browned, uh, add a little bit of water and a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce and let it simmer with some onion and garlic. Garlic, onion. Now we're going to add a little bit of chicken broth. Now some barbecue sauce. Get every last little bit out of it. So we're gonna rinse this out and put it all in and put the water up to the top of the pork. Turn up to high, get to a boil, then turn down to a real low simmer. Good morning, it's about 10 hours later. We're ready for the NFC playoffs where my Chicago Bears hopefully will beat the Packers. Everyone says no, but I think different. We have our uh, crock pot. We switch to the crock pot. That goes overnight for 10 hours. And uh, the smell is just heavenly. Oh, all the barbecue and the pork. We're going to just pull the pork out and put it in a bowl. Chop it up. Take a cup of the sauce. Mix in one of these sweet baby rays and then uh, wait to go to the next house and uh, broil it, crisp it up a bit and we got ourselves pulled pork. So I'll show you how to pair of tongs. You see the meat just pops right off the bone just like our carnitas episode. And uh, try to avoid the fat. Just get the meat. The smell is intoxicating. See all the bones stay in there, the onions and garlic stay in there. Uh, it's really simple. So just take your pork, put it in the bowl, and then we're going to uh, take a fork and shred it up. Just use a fork and uh, pull it. And uh, the stringier the better. Let's see how it comes apart. And that's what you're going for. So make the whole thing like that. And then we take one cup of the liquid and put it in the bowl. And that's how we're going to transport it so that it gets uh, juicy as we put it into the broiler to crisp it a bit. Then we're going to add our Sweet Beaver Reese Hickory and Brown. There it is. We have it in a lasagna pan. It's going to go in the broiler for about five, six minutes to crust the top, then in the oven, and then it's going to warm through and it'll be ready. Don't add the barbecue sauce until you're ready to serve. That way it will not burn when it's in there. So here we go. So the cool part is Debbie has a Thermidor. Wow. Awesome oven. And we just got done with the broil. So, um,. We'll turn the light on. That's the crispiness. That's really sweet on top. And now we're going to bake it at 200 just for a little bit to warm it through. And then put the barbecue sauce on. Now this is a very, very good wife. The reason is she's not using the gigantic grill for cooking the brats. She's using charcoal. And we'll learn all about that later. Yum. Now it's come out of the oven. You see nice crusties here. They taste delicious. The rest is... Uh, Mm, juicy. Marie's going to put the Sweet Baby Ray's all over. Then we're going to cover and let this sit together for about five or ten minutes and serve. Mix all this up. So here we are. 
It's the playoffs. No one said we'd be here. I'm just right. Someone's just very wrong. And here we go. Oops, the Bears stopped the move for the 20. <laughs> And so it ends. We had a good run, but now there's a Packer fan that's way too happy. Shame on you. Look at poor Lovey, poor Caleb. And poor Fry the Chef.